I'm Dana Hillis Land, Technical Support Manager at Vermont Photo Inkjet. Today I'm going to show you how to clean an Epson Pro 3800 and 3880 printer models. All the printers that we're going to show you how to clean have the same parts, like a print head, the capping station, and the wiper blade. The capping station and the wiper blade should be cleaned every few weeks, and the bottom of the print head should be cleaned as needed if you have um, stubborn misfiring nozzles or clogged nozzles or smears on the paper. To access the cleaning area of the R3000 printer, I'm going to turn it on and then unplug it from the back once the print head is moved out of the lock position. Alright, so now I can manually move the print head out of the way and see the cleaning area right over here on the right. So I've removed the cover from this printer so that you can easily see what I'm doing because there's just a small visibility, but you don't need to do that at home when cleaning your printer. So this again is the capping station. It's spring loaded with porous pads and a raised rubber rim. That's where ink is sprayed when the printer does a cleaning cycle and so it gets really gunky. Um, the wiper blade moves forward to wipe off the bottom of the print head, so that also gets really gunky and those parts are important to clean in order to keep the print head clean and in good working condition. So I'll show you how to clean those parts now. So I'm going to start by cleaning the capping station using Piezo Flush Solution and a syringe with a blunt tip needle so I can get right where I want. So remove the plug from the bottle and dip the needle into the bottle and draw piezo flush out and then put that aside. So I want to deposit piezo flush on the capping station. I don't want it to overflow, but I want it to get moist. And note the rim around will keep it from overflowing. And now I'm taking a bounty paper towel which is recommended because it's strong and it doesn't have a lot of fibers that will fall off. So I take a half sheet of Bounty paper towel and fold it. And now what I'm going to do is use my two fingers to push down on the capping stations and allowing um, the piezo flush to absorb. And so it's the piezo flush is breaking down any waste ink and paper fiber gunk and then I'm just taking it out of the pads here. So it'll never get totally clean, it'll, the cap will never get white, but you can definitely get a lot of gunk out. It's important to be able to see the metal screen here on the top of the cap. If that is covered with waste ink gunk, then there will be no flow of ink um, and it will get transferred to the bottom of the print head, it will cause clogging and smearing on your prints. Next I'm going to clean the wiper blade. In this printer model it slides back. I'm going to use a little scrubby pad and moisten it with a little bit of piezo flush. And the side of the capping or the wiper blade that is close to the capping station is the side that wipes the print head. So that's the most important. So I'm going to gently wipe using both sides of the wiper pad and then I'm going to actually blot all the gunk out and I'm going to do it again. So I want to make sure um, the wiper blade is straight. There should be a slight curve to the top that's facing towards the capping station. Um, and so if the wiper blade is bent or warped at all, it's not going to have a good contact with the bottom of the head and it's not going to be effective. So this whole cleaning area, the cap pump assembly, should be replaced every few years because it wears out. It's a little difficult to see, so I'm going to pass the tip of this over the wiper blade for you to see.
Now I'm going to demonstrate cleaning the bottom of the print head. Again, I'm taking a half sheet of bounty paper towel. I'm going to use the smooth side. I'm going to fold it in half twice. So it's about an inch. And that fits nicely right in the, the channel here. So I'm going to moisten the paper towel. I don't want it to be dripping wet, but I'm going to moisten it with Piezo Flush. Just like that. And I want it to be kind of flat. I'm going to lay it down right here in this channel. This is where the print head moves back and forth. I'm going to push it down, especially this side, because I'm going to slide the print head over and I don't want it to get caught up. So when the paper towel is in position, I slide the print head over. See, it slid over nicely. If it doesn't slide over, if it starts to get jammed, don't force it. Put it back, flatten it down, and try again. So, the print head over the moist paper towel, I'm going to lift up on the two sides, and I'm gently wiping back and forth like shining a shoe. And now I'm going to put it down and slide the print head off the paper towel. And so this gunk has come off the bottom of the print head. You want to make sure that the paper towel is whole and you haven't ripped off a chunk um, that might be lodged under the print head. Pro model printers such as the 3800, 3880, and R3000, any printers that have cartridges and ink lines that lead to the print head have dampers, which are inline ink filters in between the, the ink lines and the print head, which is under here. Um, the dampers have a really fine screen that catch particles to protect the print head, and the dampers should be replaced about once a year as recommended by Epson, but people usually don't do this until they have major problems. So with this printer model, the dampers are not replaced individually, but the whole ink unit is replaced with the cartridge chambers, the ink lines, and the whole damper assembly. It costs about $175 from Compass Micro. This is the auto paper feed area of the 3800 printer. Notice this area right here, this is the part that actually grabs the sheet of paper and it gets really dusty, especially if you're using fine art paper. Um, and so if it gets dusty, it's not going to grab onto the sheet and it's going to slip and you'll have paper feed errors. So um, this is really good to wipe off and I actually just use my finger to clean it off. Also I use canned air or a really uh, small nozzle vacuum to clean the dust out of this area. And so you want to make sure that this is lint free so that you have good paper feed. So that's how to maintain your printer. If you still have stubborn clog nozzles or misfiring nozzles, another thing that you could try is installing a set of piezo flush cartridges and running an initial fill cycle to purge the ink system and allow the piezo flush to clean. Um, a lot of times we have actually brought back clogged print head channels that way. Uh, make sure to reference our video on how to run initial fill and flush your printer. If you are still unable to clean all the channels in your printer, you can convert it to a high quality piezography printer as long as you have at least six good channels. Um, the piezography will produce higher quality black and white prints than anything that you can get with the standard Epson driver. Happy printing!